in software quality assurance we are discussing the software quality factor software quality factor so we'll see the quality factor the need for comprehensive software quality requirements i would require it the classification of software requirements into software quality factors and mccall's factor model so quality factor the various attributes or you can see the characteristics of software and its use and maintenance these are defined in software requirement documents you often call it as srs this can be classified into content groups we call them as quality factors so the need for comprehensive software quality requirement is there is a need for comprehensive definition of requirements that is going to cover all the attributes of software and aspects of the use of software including the usability aspects the reusability aspect the maintainability aspects and so forth in order to ensure that the users are fully satisfied the classification of software requirement into software quality factors we have mccall's factor model so it has been characterized the three mccall's sir mccall's has classified into three different categories first is your product operation factors when product is operating we require it to be correct reliable efficient integrable or integrity it should contain and usability when it comes to revision the product revision the factors of mccall's are maintainability flexibility and then testability when it comes to transition it is portability reusability and interoperability so we have a tree mccall's factor model tree see if you want the quality software then the root it uh, contains the product transition product operation and product revision and these say roots are again rerouted to different factors which we just got to know the classification of software requirements into software quality factors as we saw this that is the product operation factors include the correctness the reliability the efficiency the integrity and the usability right this makes the tree to flourish and to grow properly that is our quality tree so let us learn each of them one by one what is reliability reliability requirements deal with failures to provide the service they would determine the maximum allowed software system failure rate and this can also refer to the entire system or to one or more of its separate function reliability if something fails the result would be a disaster correctness the correctness requirements are defined in a list of the software requirement or software systems required outputs that is the output what we want the accuracy the correctness the accuracy of the output and also the completeness of the output information the information needs to be up to date and the information should be properly available it includes the standard of coding which you have adopted and also the documentation of software system then comes the integrity integrity requirements deal with the software system security security that is requirements to prevent access to unauthorized persons to distinguish between the majority of personal allowed to see the information that is red permit and limited group who will be allowed to add or change the data that is the right permit and so forth authentication authorization which are allowed which are not allowed efficiency efficiency requirement deal with the 
hardware resources needed to perform all the function of the software system in conformance to all other requirements the main hardware resources to be considered are the computers processing capabilities you measure it in mips million instructions per second okay. next is usability if the software is easy to use easy to learn if you revisit you can use it again this is usability usability requirements deal with the scope of staff resources needed to train a new employee and to operate the software system easily that is usability we can learn it easily and we can perform it also so classification of software requirements into software quality factors now we see the product revision factors that is the maintainability flexibility and testability this is maintainability flexibility and testability maintainability maintainability requirements determine the efforts that will be needed by users and maintenance personnel to identify the reasons for software failures to correct the failures and to verify the success of the corrections so these of this factor requirements refer to the modular structure of the software the internal product documentation and the programmer manual and others then comes the flexibility the capabilities and efforts required to support adaptive maintenance activity these are covered by the flexibility requirements this will include the resources that is mandates required to adapt a software package to a variety of customers of the same trade of various extents of activities of different ranges of products and so on these factors requirements also support perfect maintenance activities flexibility next is testability these requirements deal with the testing of an information system as well as with its operation so testability requirements for the ease of testing are related to special features in the program that help the tester for instance by providing predefined intermediate results and log files then comes the product transition factors that is the portability reusability and interoperability portability reusability and interoperability what is portability the portability requirements tend to the adaptation of a software system to other environments consisting of different hardware different operating system so we want them to work for those operating systems and and uh, hardware where the scope tells us to do then comes the reusability so reusability requirements deal with the use of software modules originally designed for one project in a new software project currently being developed so you can use this part in application a and application b then comes the interoperability interoperability requirements focus on creating interfaces with other systems or with other equipments like, like firmware for example the firmware firmware of the production machinery and testing equipment interfaces with the production control software interoperability requirements can specify the names of the software or firmware for which the interface would be required and they can also specify the output structure accepted as standard in a specific industry or applications area so let us compare the mcos factor model and alternative models for example with mcos classic model we have events and dosh what are available what are not available is shown by the plus sign here so who is interested in the definition of quality requirements some quality factors not included in the typical client's requirement model may in many cases interest, interest the developer uh, so we have a list of quality factors usually interest the developer whereas they may arise very little interest uh, to the part of the client like the portability the usability and the verifiability software compliance with quality factors so quality factors is examined by design reviews the software inspections the software tests and so forth comprehensive discussion of these design reviews software testing software quality metrics and other tools for verifying and validating of software or quality of software is always required thank you so much this was about the mccall quality attributes and factors